Hey, welcome back. If you just joined us, I'm Richie. And we're in Bangkok. Today, we're going to be travelling to Bangkrao. I hope I've got that right. That's the green lung of Bangkok. We're going to get the BTS there. We're going to hire a bike. My headline, the bicycle. And we're going to have a ride around the, the little island within Bangkok, would you believe it? And we're going to get some street food to watch to the end. We'll find some food while we're there. And we'll experience this together. Right, if you're legalised among you, I recognise I'm not in the same place. Last night was a bit too much. Um, there was a gap in the back door, the balcony door, about an inch. And every animal known to Bangkok got through there last night. So this morning, packed my bags and moved on. I found this little place. Right, there's, there's the balcony. You've got a little uh, sink outside. I like them sinks outside. A nice, more authentic. And then you've got the, in the big TV there. There's the front door. Big clean bed. Totally different to yesterday's. Yesterday's, it wasn't overly bad. It was cheap. It was eleven pound, thirteen dollars. Um, the, the, the internet was non-existent. It was terrible. It was an open network, so I couldn't do I couldn't do any uploading on it. I, I was too paranoid with uh, I need to get a, a VPN, but uh, I haven't needed one so far, everyone else has been secure networks, that was the first place, so I couldn't do any work. And this is the bathroom, I haven't even looked in here yet to be honest, yeah, good shower, I do like a rain shower but it's canny, and this place is called the Suk Sumboon, Suk Sumboon residence, and it's in the Hawaii Kwang area of Bangkok. It's a little bit out of the way, it's in a really Thai area, uh, no tourists about, but you can jump on the BTS and you're anywhere in no time, or you can walk. I've just walked, I've just tested myself. I walked with my bags to see how far I could go. These bags are heavy, they've got all my equipment and laptops, drones, everything, camera equipment. And then all my clothes, my helmets there, uh, from uh, Chiang Mai. And I uh, two mile, two mile, uh, well just under two mile and that was enough. I oh, no, no, I could do further than that. That was a bit of a chore. I was really knocking out the sweat on the way back. Right, that's enough for now. We're gonna get on the BTS, or the MTS, or whatever TS, one of the Bangkok transport system, and we're gonna head off to Bangkrao and get on the pad lion and find some food. See you soon. Hey, welcome back. We are at the Hawaii Kwang BTS uh, MRT station. Now I struggle to see these maps. I'm going to take the photo and blow it up. So what I do, if you've never seen the Lumpini Park one, um, I use uh, Google Maps and it's great. It shows me where I am, the Hawaii Kwang station, it's the blue line. Go to Sukhumvit, tells me how many stops I'm going to be doing. And then it tells me to get off at Sukhumvit, get the green line for a stop, it tells you where to walk from Sukhumvit to the green line. Again, how many stops? Nine stops and then we get to Bang Na. And then from Bang Na, we'll just walk down to the pier and get across to the green line. So yeah, it's really easy on uh, Google Maps to work out the uh, transport system in Bangkok because there's loads. Uh, but yeah, now we'll go and get the go and get the ticket and get to Sukhumvit. Right near the road, so I'll keep this sweet. First street food of the day. I've just got the Bang Na uh, from Sukhumvit. Uh, like I say, you can follow the uh, the Google Maps to get here. You get the Bang Na station, and then I'm walking half an hour to Bang Na Pier. Then we'll get the, the little little boat over to, to uh, the Green Lung. But the first one I've got is these little coconut ones, little coconut shells. What they do is they fry them in there. And then this is the end result. I've been on about these a few times if you've been watching my vlogs. 
but uh, it's not a good place to do this. I sit on this little taxi on there. Sure, old oh man. I've got my body with me in my big bag because it's going to rain today. I can feel it in the air. I can feel it in my bones. that before. Yeah, spot on. Wrong one the street food. Success. We're now at Bang Now Pier. Bang Now Pier. On the boat. It was an arduous half, half an hour walk but it wasn't too bad. My prediction of the rain could be very wrong. <laughs> it's tried to a couple of times. Five minutes it was spec uh, speculum. And then it stopped straight away. But Plenty of time for that yet, this bush get a good rain today. That's Gapple. That's where we're heading. And it's a full, full boat. Plenty of people on. Yeah, Ban Ban Crow, Ban Crow, some Ban Crow. <laughs> I'll tell about these herbs. Yeah, it's a nice big river. See the city in the background there. Bang Krakow or something like that. Somewhere like that. And I'm not sure if this is the Chow Praia River, but I'll find out that for you as well. Let's get on the other side and get a bite. Go and get some food. Right, it's warm. We just got across the river. Five baht. Massive five baht. That's one back more than what it was a couple of weeks ago when we were in Ding Dang. If you haven't seen the vlogs, get back and see it. Uh, yeah, it's 12 and a half p, about 15 cents. A little uh, temple on the other side. Well, that's not what we're here for. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's very beautiful. Right, there's some bikes over here. I tend not to jump on the first thing that you see when you get off the boat because at your premium price. Yeah. So, yeah. I can buy one there, 2,000 baht. 50 quid for 60 dollars. So they do. Let's see how much they are. I don't seem to be much cop to be honest with you. I've had some nice bikes back along. These aren't even Amsterdam standard. You remember me gazelle? Me gazelle in Amsterdam. Flying machine. Get back and see that vlog. Street food. Right, there's no more bikes down here. It is the Chow Praia River. Five minutes, five baht. Right, we'll see how much these bad boys are. You've got to keep bending down from your umbrella. Scorcher, I'm walking about with an umbrella. How much are the bikes, Cap? How much? 50. 54. And so you'll have. Huh? Canon, Canon, Son, and Son, the Tepon, and Mimi Bona, Mopana. Come in, you want to have 50 bucks for the day? Yeah, come back before 6 30. Yeah, yeah. Can you just pick any? Yeah? Right, which one would you pick? <laughs> 50 baht for the day. There's a price comparison in, uh, in the description. The exchange. Well, this is not an easy decision. Uh, <laughs> I'm so indecisive, it's, indecisive, it's ridiculous. Uh, Let's go for this one. It's got a bit of a look of the gazelle about it. Mm. 
could do with a bit of a uh, could do with a bit of grease on the chain like that one that one I picked it this bad boy right I'll get this paid for and we'll get on the road well he made a decision for me he said this one's better just come around the corner there's loads of food places these are all restaurants if you want to try and find some seafood there's some fish, uh, street food stalls here's it bad boy <laughs> There's a rotties. Can't cross the corner without seeing a rotty. Whoop, you nearly went there. Whoa, speed bump. Yeah, it rivals the gazelle this like I think it might be a bit better. You wouldn't be out of place on this in Amsterdam. Street food everywhere. That guy was looking at temples with his camera there, I'm looking at street food with his camera. I must know I'm coming along with, on this bike with all these uh, speed bumps. If anyone knows what that uh, the elephant with three heads signifies, I see that quite a bit. Any of my Thai viewers, please drop us a comment, let me know. Oh, some chicken there, some um, of the, the sticky rice with the banana, wrapped in a banana leaf. Seeing them there, they're a big favourite along with the mango sticky rice. I just eat them all the time. So I've got to try and curb it a bit. I'm in a bit of a traffic jam here. Right, we'll get down the other side and find some food and I'll get you back on. Biking in Bangkok. What a really lovely ride this is. Seems like there's a bit of, bit of construction going on. Lovely quiet place like this. Can't, can't beat the ravages of construction, can they? All about the money. Now there's two piers that come to this island. The green one. There's a um, Krung Krungwa, Krung, Krungba, and uh, Bangna. I've got it on good, good information. You want to be on Bangna? Well, that's what I've research anyway and that's where I come over and where all the bikes were so yeah bang now you bang now up here a few cars about but Bangkok baby already pineapples coconuts and I've been riding for about 20 minutes now and I've just rode past another load of bikes I wonder if that's the Krung Pier. Krung Bar. Krung Na. I don't know. I wonder if that's a homestay. Lovely place. There's your petrol station. self-service uh, we don't need no petrol are they doing sausages and fish sticks fish sticks are massive here not for me, there's some spring rolls back there. I only got some of them on the way back. In fact, I don't even know where I'm going, so I might go and get some of them now. Whee! Turn this big bad boy around. Let's see what she's got. Spring rolls, 20 baht. That's what I'm talking about. Swaddy cap. You say spring rolls cap.
Look man, just one eye cup. Fucking grab. Fucking grab. Do you forget about the basket? Yes. There's the spring rolls. I don't know what them red egg things are. Any any retired viewers, drop us a comment, let me know. Cockle yeah. man cap. Alright, get this pocket is. We'll carry on. A little snack for later. Let's go. You utilizing my little basket. <laughs> get in. I love it. This must be like the heart of the island. There's a lot more going on around here. There's your soups in the bag. Bananas, ten a penny. You see, we can see the different types of bananas. There was some I seen earlier that were tiny. Now they're all the same. The finger bananas, I thought they were them ones there, but they're not. I've seen some this morning that were proper finger, finger length bananas, like really small. They're ripe and they look about look like. I wonder if that the ones where the lady, girl, lady was on about when we were doing the whole uh, May Hunt on uh, loop. She said they get special bananas for the rotties, that's why she'd run out. I wonder if them are the ones, them little ones, the really little ones. Supposed to be dead, dead sweet. I wanted to swing her right there, but she's a bit busy. This old bike takes some turning around. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, here we go. Oi! You're on there, Gizel. The little blue bomber. Betty, too. <laughs> Just doing a drive by on a couple of uh, a couple of more temples. There's the entrance. You can see it in the background looks quite nice. Sewing shops, repairs. You don't believe in throwing things away, yeah, which I totally agree with. That one is being constructed. Looks like a big big temple that. Sweaty carp. Yeah, they weren't expecting that. Nice though. I'm really enjoying this. Really enjoying it. I've got no idea where I'm going. I know I'm heading well away from where I got the bike from. So I've got to be careful. I won't be able to get back. Um, I mentioned Betty. It was a little bit emotional giving Betty back at the at the, uh, the higher place. We'd grown up. We'd grown a bit of a rapport on the May Hunt Song Loop. It was a really, really good bike. It never let me down whatsoever. It got me up and down the hills, bang on. Nice, comfortable ride. You get attached to something. Them Aeroxes, 155cc, amazing bikes, really good. Can't recommend them enough enough if you come here. But shop about for your prices. There were some places I went that were 5,000 baht a month. I just kept on look. I kept looking at them as I was walking by, and I got Bentley for 3,000 a month. I give it back nine days early because I never spent as much time in Chiang Mai as I thought doing the May Hong Song route and what have you. And she uh, she wrote me a credit note that when I'm back in Chiang Mai she's going to give me the bike back for another nine days. I'll be requesting Betty for sure. What do you got? Oh, what nice people. I all ties are nice, but sometimes people don't understand you or uh, they think you wonder why you're saying hi for no reason. That's what the UK's turning like. Never used to be like that. I'm really loving this. It's great. This must be where a lot of the residents live. See behind me, it's quite built up. Found here.
no idea where I'm going, but I don't really care. I've got my spring rolls, I've got Betty to look after me, Betty too. Where can I go wrong? I've hit a dead end, I'm at the end of the island. I've been riding for about an hour. There's a big anchor there. There's Nelson. Definitely not, it's not. <laughs> I think it's a Chinese soldier. I think he's got a Chinese banner on his arm. Let's go and have a look there. There's a, a little temp, temple up on the on the elevation. Right, way Betty. Look at that. Beast of a bike. There's the spring rolls. Oh, I've got a map. Didn't realise I had a map. <laughs> Probably should have followed that. <laughs> Well, hit the end of the island and see what we've got here. There, isn't that a Chinese banner he's got around his arm? Again, any of the uh, Thai viewers? If you know what the significance is, you know what these merry sailors are up to, let me know. There's the Chow Praia River, there's the city. Where's the Tetris building? Can't see it. Could be over that way. Or it could be over that way. Basically, I have no idea. Oh, Chinese. What are they doing here? Let me know. Right, I'm gonna have a look at my map and uh, see which way to go. Must be a little coconut farmer. Huh? All them coconut trees. Trying to get the camera up to go. Richie style. That blocked in for some reason. There we go. A little coconut farm. Well, the map was no good. You've got to know where you're at to be able to use a map. <laughs> uh, I've tried Google Maps, but that tells me I'm on the other side of the river. So yeah, I'm following my nose. We're winging it again. Well, there's no better place to be doing it. It feels so nice to be out of the sea. And it's five baht, it's just five baht across the river. Uh, and it's a different world, an absolute different world. I've got to ride, ride like the wind, to be free again. And it's not such a long time ago, such a long time. You copyright me old song here, pitch perfect, huh? Hey, oh, sorry, can't. <laughs> Richie, ah! <laughs> now I'm on the wrong side of the road, what went on there? <laughs> oh, I forgot I had brakes, I haven't got a left brake, I haven't got a back brake. So when I've got the camera in my hand, I've basically got no brakes. Oh, where am I going? <laughs> Come on, Betty. What a cup. Show you what I'm going to do. Oh. I'm going to swing around here. And hit the shop. Way. Get on there, Betty. I think we deserve a refreshment. Been on well over an hour now. See what we can find. Right, we've parked ourselves. Drinking. Kind of singer. Drinking and riding. Don't do it, kids. It's a health warning. And 
some spring rolls. The sweet chilli sauce. I'm not really into my sweet chilli, but sweet chilli is better than no chilli. Let down. Not good, no. I've got a green one. What's that about? Is that a mistake? Oh, the rest of them are normal. The one green one. I'll give another one a go. Uh, oh, I'll have to give the green one a go, won't I? I think he's put uh, some lettuce underneath the bed of it. I think he's put a bit of lettuce in it. Should put some lettuce in them all, to be honest with you. No, he hasn't done that. They are. Probably the worst thing rolls I've ever tasted in my life. That was a fail. Street food two. Ah, fail. Let's crack on. Tastes good. Nearly an hour and a half for being on the road. It'll probably take me about half an hour, hopefully, to get back to the right back. That's why I'm going the right way. I think I've gone right along the island. So, yeah, we'll see. Well, definitely think I'm lost. <laughs> it's going to take a bit of luck, I think, but I'm still paddling away. For a serious case of SBS, sweaty ball syndrome. <laughs> Some sort of government building. Well, it's been uh, it's been fun. <laughs> Navigating this, this beast about, Betty too. I keep thinking I see purses that are familiar, but it's, it's, all, it's all the same. <laughs> I'm bound to think that. We'll get there, it's not the biggest place. Concentration mode. Hello. <laughs> God, you don't want to be coming off this path. Oh, look at him there, he's parting the bike right in the way. Can I go up there? Is that bang, bang there up here? Yeah. That way? Yeah. That way and then there? Uh, one cap. Wrong way Richie. Yeah. Turn on this little platform. Well it's not that way back. <laughs> ah, where are we going? I'm going to have to stop and try and find my bearings. Oh, you don't want to be going down there, do you? I've got to come back to this dog now. I ran out of battery. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Uh, I knew I should have took a new, another battery with me. I, uh, I didn't think I'd have enjoyed it that much. It was brilliant. I absolutely loved it. I, it, I, I just wanted you to experience that with me. So I, I couldn't turn the camera off at times because it was that good. It was like being back up the north but being in the city of Bangkok. Um, yeah, Bangkok, Bang, 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 Bangkok Chow, Bangkok Chow. I think that's what it's called, Bangkok Chow, Bang, Bangkok Chow. One of that, I think. Bangkok Chow because it's got the, the Chow for the river at the end, Chow Phraya the River. But yeah, it was brilliant. I absolutely loved it. If you live in Bangkok and you haven't been there yet, get over there. Or if you're visiting, it was really good. I loved it. The only bad thing was, 
I was on my feet all day in Bangkok, well most of the way you see them, you the, the transport system. And my lungs, my eyes are stinging, my lungs feel dead dry, my nose feels dead dry from all the fumes. I've got a bit of a headache coming on and I never get headaches, I look after myself so I never get headaches. So I know, I know it's the fumes. And that's why you see many people in Bangkok with masks on. But yeah, what a great sign, what a brilliant sign. Now my intention was tonight, was to go to uh, Chakrat Market, but the rain's come. It's kicking on for seven o'clock now. Um, again, I, I didn't think it'd take me so much time. I didn't think it'd take so long. Um, and I'm absolutely exhausted. I wanted to make the most of it while I'm in Bangkok, because tomorrow we travelled in uh, Pattaya. And um, I, I really wanted to get uh, the most, the biggest, the biggest outdoor market in the world, um, Chakrat Market about 14,000 stalls but um, next time next time it won't be long to come back so there's no point in pushing myself too far if you're still watching thank you so much you are the lifeblood of the channel everybody who watch, everybody who watches it's i'm so much appreciative of it but the people who watch to the end you're the ones that are keeping this channel going you're the ones that are going to make this channel grow that's what the algorithm is looking for people who are watching it till the end people who are getting in the time uh, thank you, just thank you so much. Please, if you know anyone who would probably like, who would like, like the, the content, share, like, subscribe, notify, all usual. Thank you so much. Have a good, have a good day.